Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. And today Google released nearby share beta for Windows and that means you can transfer photos, videos, documents or any file you want wirelessly between your Android phone or tablet and your Windows PC. And in this video I will give you a detailed look at the whole process starting from the installation up to successfully transferring files between your Android device and your Windows machine. So without further ado, let's jump in. First things first, let's see how to install nearby share beta on your Windows PC. And the process is surprisingly simple. Just click the download link in the description below or type nearby share for Windows in Google and navigate to this page. Then click on get started to download the exe installation file. Once done, open the file and it will take less than a minute to finish the installation process. Then it will ask you to either sign in with your Google account or use without account. I recommend using the same Google account you have on your Android device to get more ways to adjust your sharing preferences. After signing in, it will give you a page to adjust some settings about the sending and receiving that you can also adjust later in settings in a better way. So let's skip this one for now. Let me also highlight that Nearby Share for Windows is a standalone app that you can access from the start menu rather than a plugin in Google Chrome as expected from the previous leaks. But anyways, this is the first page you will see after opening the app. For the sharing to work, it requires your Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth to be turned on. And here I have a red message saying that Bluetooth is needed with a settings button that takes you right away to your Windows settings to activate the feature. Now let's take a look at the app settings. First, you can choose a name for your PC. Secondly, choose which folder to save your received files to. And the third and the most important option is the device visibility. It works pretty much in the same way as on your Android phone. The first choice is everyone, and this option will make you visible to anyone around you, but you have the ability to keep it on temporarily for a few minutes, and then it will switch back automatically to the last used option. Or you can keep it on all the time, which is definitely not recommended. Keep in mind that you will get the option to accept or decline the transfer request from unknown devices, but the devices signed in with the same Google account can send files automatically to your PC without any permissions, and that's the case with all other options. The second choice is called contacts, which will make you visible only to the email contacts saved in your Google account, but you still need to approve or decline the request yourself. The third option is called your devices, and this will make you visible only to the devices signed in with the same Google account. And again, there is no need to approve or decline the request, but the transfer will start immediately. And lastly, you can hide your PC from everyone, including your own devices, by choosing no one. But let me set mine to everyone for now. One thing worth mentioning, when you close the window, the app stays active in the background. So your visibility options will still apply even with the window closed. Back to settings and here you have the option to activate send usage and diagnostics data to help improve nearby share and the about section to show you the version and that's pretty much it. Now let's take a look at the main page. On the left, it will give you a quick shortcut to your visibility options, which are the same ones we saw under settings, but with a slight change in the verbiage. At the bottom, there is a box that will allow you to select files, select folders, or drag and drop whatever you want to send to your Android device. You can also right click any file or folder and choose to send with nearby share to start the process from anywhere, which is a nice touch. Once you select the files, you will see them on the left side, and the center console will show you the available devices that you can send to. And once the request is accepted on the other side, the transfer process will begin with the ability to see the progress and the transfer speed. If the transfer is successful, you will see a blue check mark with the word send. To send the file to your Windows PC, just use nearby share on your Android as you normally would and select your PC from the list. You will receive a request to accept or decline and once done, the files will be placed in the folder you chose under settings with an open button that takes you right away to this folder. One more thing worth mentioning before moving to the next chapter is nearby share beta for Windows is not currently available for those 28 regions without specifying when it will be. And now let's talk about the system requirements. First, ARM processors are not supported, which means your PC should be using an Intel or AMD processor. Secondly, you need to have a 64-bit version of Windows 10 or later, Android device running Android 6.0 or later, 
And if your Windows device doesn't support Bluetooth low energy extended advertising, other people might not be able to find and share with you on certain networks. Finally, make sure that your devices are connected to the same network, either via Wi-Fi or Ethernet, and within 5 meters range if the connection is wireless. So I think that's pretty much everything you need to know about Nearby Share for Windows. This is one of the features I've been waiting for for so long, and I'm really happy to see it available right now. Please let me know in the comments what do you think about it, and what are the things you see missing. But for now, thank you so much for watching, and see you the next video.